the imperial state crown. Anyone who's been to the jewel house at the Tower of London will know there are several crowns to be seen there, but only two of them are actually used. The St. Edward's crown and this one known as the imperial state crown. It's normally kept at the Tower, but I have it here at Buckingham Palace because I wore it this morning at the state opening of Parliament. The crown as you see it now was made for Queen Victoria in 1838, but many of the individual stones have a much longer history. The oldest is probably this sapphire, which is said to have been worn as a ring by Edward the Confessor nearly a thousand years ago. The pearls are said to have belonged to the first Queen Elizabeth. The story goes that this strangely shaped ruby was given to the Black Prince after a battle in Spain in 1367. I always like to think of it being worn by Henry V during the Battle of Agincourt. It's difficult to be absolutely certain about some of the other stones because after the execution of Charles I, Cromwell had the crown jewels broken up and sold. The Black Prince's ruby, for instance, was sold for four pounds. But it was returned to the crown after the restoration of Charles II. Most of the bigger stones have had adventures. According to tradition, this huge sapphire at the back was carried off in his pocket by James II as he went into exile in 1688. It was over 130 years before it was restored to the crown. This great diamond is a more recent addition. The first star of Africa is even bigger and is in the scepter. Both of them are parts of an immense diamond which was found quite by chance by the manager of a mine in South Africa in 1905. Apparently he just dug it out of the rock face with his walking stick. This is a model which shows you what it looked like. The whole Cullinan diamond, as it came to be known, was given to my great-grandfather, King Edward VII, on his birthday. The Dutch jeweller, who had to split it before it could be polished, was so overcome by the responsibility that he fainted as he struck the blow. But he did it perfectly. There are two smaller pieces which my grandmother always referred to as the chips. This crown is worn at openings of Parliament and after a coronation. The other one, the St. Edward's crown, is only worn once, at the moment of crowning. <laughs>